My name's James, and this is my dad guide to epic parenting. You? Really? Basically, watch this video and then do the opposite. I'm not being all self-deprecating. Really? You'll see what I mean. Apparently, studies have shown that human beings are much more interested in negative things than the positive. So with that in mind, if you're looking for a guide of how to be an epic dad, apparently what will resonate more is a list of how not to be an epic dad. So here's my list of how not to be an epic dad. Put yourself first all the time. Don't ask your family where they want to go on holiday. That's a pipe dream at the moment. Choose the films you want to watch. Order the type of food you want to eat. Basically, if you want to be a fairly terrible dad and husband, just suit yourself. Don't tell anyone where you're going. Tip number two. Give really unhelpful, tactless, and often unkind advice. If your child comes last in their running race at school and feel a bit sad about it, tell them it's your fault because you eat too many biscuits and you're too fat. If your child feels sad because they never get invited to parties, you remind them, well, it's probably because your breast smells because you never brush your teeth or because you pick your nose in class. Basically, be constantly on the lookout to tell people the things they probably know already and probably don't want to hear from you. When your wife's nursing a massive hangover because she went out for a colleague's leaving do, spend the day making stinky food in the kitchen and reminding her there's a lesson to be learned here. When your child finally runs into that wall and bangs their head and starts crying, instead of giving them a cuddle or checking to see that they're okay, maybe laugh at them, point at them and say, well, this is why I told you not to run around inside. And the third tip for being a terrible dad don't be patient. Get really cross and scary in traffic jams. Huff and puff and mutter under your breath when you're behind that woman in the car who can't find her bank card. Embarrass your family at the cinema when you're in a queue behind a woman with five children who's looking flustered by tapping her on the shoulder and go, can we go in front of you? We're in a bit of a rush. If your children are trying to tell you a story or telling you about their day, stop them midway through and go, look, I haven't got time for this. Can you just hurry up and get to the point? And the fourth tip for being a terrible dad, make sure you put your plans, dreams, and ambition above everybody else's, including your children's. If your child gets offered a place at the after-school football club, tell them you can't go, because Tuesday night is always when you do your Tai Chi Acre Zumba class. Basically, make yourself your own priority. Don't look out for anybody else, especially your children. And the fifth tip of how to be a terrible dad, only be nice to people if there's something in it for you. Only invite children to your child's birthday party on the understanding they invite you to theirs. Maybe even try and get something in writing and get it co-signed by a solicitor. Never offer to help anyone who hasn't helped you out first. Make sure that when you tell your child that you love them, that they instantly tell you they love you back. If they don't, be really grumpy and mean and don't ever tell them again. Keep score of who's doing the jobs around the house. So if it's your wife's turn to make the tea, don't make the tea. Even if she's had a really long day, and she's really tired and looks like she needs a cup of tea. If it's her turn to take the bins out, don't take the bins out, just let the rubbish pile up and become all stinky. And my sixth tip for being a terrible dad, be insanely competitive. Make everything a competition. Make sure that every time you play a car game, at least one of your children ends up in tears. Make sure to hammer home that it's not about the taking part, it's about winning at all costs. You didn't come second, you were the first loser. Install the belief with your children that they have to crush their opponents. It's all about winning, being number one. And my seventh tip for being a terrible dad and basically a pretty horrendous human being, hold grudges. Never let anyone forget any time they upset you or wronged you. Remind your brother of that five pounds you lent him in 1983 when he lost his job. Five pounds would have got you a lot back then. Be all moody and grumpy, but don't tell anyone why when they fail to realize, know, or congratulate you on any mini victory you've had in your life. Model the behavior to your children. It's really important to hold grudges, to store those bad feelings inside you, let them fester, and basically warp your sense of reality. And my eighth tip of how to be a terrible dad, don't take any responsibility for your actions. Blame everybody else. When you realise you've forgotten your mum's birthday, blame your wife because apparently that's a wife's job. When the kids have to go to school through the office because one of them fell over and grazed their knee, vocally blame them in public so that everyone knows it wasn't your fault. Complain that you aren't where you are in your life because you never had the opportunities, that the government made it impossible for you to achieve your dreams, that your occasional bouts of eczema kept you down, 
basically teach your kids that it's really important not to take any responsibility for their own lives. To be constantly looking at ways to blame everybody else. And my ninth tip of how to be a terrible dad, crave self-esteem. Be constantly asking your children if they love you. Be constantly asking your children if they're proud of you. Be constantly asking your children if you're the best dad ever. When your wife has the kindness and vulnerability to text you saying, I love you, reply saying, thanks a lot. Or if you're feeling a bit generous, maybe say you too, but no kisses. And my 10th and final tip, how to be a terrible dad, reminisce about how things were better before you had children. Publicly talk about how awesome it was when you didn't have kids and you could do what you want at the weekends and you got more sleep and you and their mum had money to go on holiday. Basically refer to the time before your children as the glory days, the good old days. Not now, which is the tough, hard days. Make sure you do your best to realise that you're a bit bitter and resentful about that you have children, even though it was completely your decision. And my bonus tip of how to be a terrible dad, adopt a very Machiavellian approach to life. By that I mean, look at ways to manipulate people. If you can't be bothered to run upstairs and get your charger, remind your children, well, if they really loved you, they would do it. Always have a bit of an agenda when you're talking to anybody. Always think, well, what's actually in this for me? Never do something for someone else unless it's absolutely clear that you're gonna get something from this. Basically install the belief in your children that we live on our own, we're not connected in any way, and happiness ultimately lies in looking after number one, not helping anyone out, putting yourself first. And obviously, please ignore all the information I've just said. The fact that you clicked on this video means you're probably a pretty awesome bloke and looking at ways to be a better dad. For that, I applaud you. And if, like me, you can do your best to do the opposite of everything I've just mentioned, we should be golden.